Hi and welcome. This is our second edition of Sacred and Profane. I am Terry Lynn. And I'm M. And today we're going to be talking about the second card of the tarot deck, the Magician. It's actually number one in the tarot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have... Ooh, can we see it? Voila! few representations of the tarot card, The Magician. So, Do you want to talk about it? Sure. So let's bring up the image one more time. The one <laughs> right here with the infinity symbol above the head. This is the one I want you to focus on for the moment. Look on the table. There are these different symbols that this magician has. There's the cup, the pentacle, the sword, and the wand. So what this card demonstrates is in those four symbols or tools are the elements. So the cup represents water, the wand represents fire, the sword represents air, and the pentacles represent earth. And so the archetype of the magician when skilled is able to harness the energies of all of the elements and choose which one to use at which time and discern. And so that's truly the skill of the magician and that's why those are represented right there with the symbol of infinity right above the head to show that there is this infinite pattern of these ele elements and energies that are moving in this wheel, these arcs, mm -hmm. which are the archetypes, which is also the wheel of samsara or the continuous movement of creation, sustaining, and destruction. Mm -hmm. So, magician. Magician. And I, today, I'm going to speak a little bit to the shadow side of the magician and the archetype. Um, we all have our light side, our most shiny selves, and our shadow side, the side that we'd rather not show anybody, the side we'd much rather not look at. Mm -hmm. And so the shadow <laughs> for the magician can be, you know, magician is very smart. This is archetype of a lot of wisdom. And as M said, the ability to harness and use tools at your disposal. Well, one of those tools is being able to truly gauge the energy in the room. Mm -hmm very clever at gauging all the energy of the room and when that's harnessed correctly you can hold sacred space but when the shadow starts to creep in that can look like master manipulation mm -hmm. because you can judge so much the energy of the room you can also know how to manipulate it quite easily and one of the reasons why the magician in the shadow aspect would want to do that is to have power over and also to not truly reveal self. So the magician also has a lot of illusion mm -hmm. or mystery to it. And when the shadow side is really amplified, you hide your true self and your vulnerabilities away and you allow yourself to appear smarter than everybody else in the room with an air of mystery so that no one can truly get to know you. No one can truly see the most authentic form of you. Mm -hmm. And so a way to harness the magician to work for everybody is to use all of those tools at your disposal that all the elements allow you to investigate deeper within yourself and to know when to conceal and when to reveal mm -hmm. because there's a lot of sacred revelation that goes along when we truly tap in and connect with one another. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> well said. Thank you. Something else that I, the magician represents is that card is pointing up and below, at, and that's as above, so below. And what we can learn from that is the messages that the magician really likes to take mm -hmm. from the sky, from the, the stars and the constellations, is to represent what's happening here on Earth, and vice versa, what's happening here on Earth is representing what's happening to spirit up above. Mm -hmm. And so how magic shows up in our lives. Mm -hmm. Magic can't really be claimed. That's the, the 
the true essence of magic. And so when there is, as you were saying so eloquently, a desire of power over this energy, which cannot ever be harnessed. True magic cannot be <laughs> contained <laughs> and harnessed. That's where shit hits the fan mm -hmm. <laughs> with a person that wants to do that. Mm -hmm. And we see that ha happen in a lot in spiritual communities mm -hmm. where someone gets hungry for power mm -hmm. and they really have this capacity to communicate with these elements. And so there is an advantage in power mm -hmm. over. And that's where it gets real dangerous. Mm -hmm. And the beauty too is to turn that around over and over and over and over and over again to the power of love. Exactly. <laughs> oh, so yeah. And how that's shown up for me is when how magic has really presented itself is times where I have been knocked on my ass. Right. And it mm -hmm. seems like I have, I just don't have any answers and I'm not in a state to, I, I'm just, sur, I'm so lost and I surrender. Dark night of the soul. Fully. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then that's when this magic can enter your body in your life when you're in that softness and that openness and that vulnerability, vulnerability. yeah mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so that's the the beauty mm -hmm. of magic and then a question do we have a question for our viewers we love to hear your responses too oh yeah mm -hmm. we do so the question is how does magic show up in your life mm -hmm. both light and shadow mm-hmm being honest because the magician is connected with the planet Mercury and Mercury is connected to communication and it's a quick talker mm -hmm. and so the more you can be mm -hmm. honest with yourself first mm -hmm. and then other then that's where you can stay on the side of the power of love mm -hmm. so well said radically honest with us mm -hmm. we'll do the same thank you bye <laughs>